Hello everyone, and we're going to be talking about today's severe weather threat for parts of the south, north, and the northeast. But before we could get into this video, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And make sure to share this video with any friends or family who might be in the path of this severe weather. Or might be interested in watching daily weather forecasts. But anyways, let's get right into this video. So we're looking at the actual Storm Prediction Center outlook for today. We have three separate severe weather risks, which is um, decently rare. Uh, we have two enhanced risks in place. We're gonna um, uh, one enhanced risk is over parts of central Texas in extreme southern Oklahoma, and another one is also in parts of the northeast. Um, so that's a main threat to severe weather for today. Also, another slight risk of severe weather, which is in uh, parts of Colorado, Nebraska, um, that type of area. Uh, so you definitely have to watch out for some severe weather throughout those types of areas throughout today. Also, that slight risk of severe weather, which is around those enhanced risks, are a more lighter risk of severe weather, but you still do have a pretty good risk for that severe weather throughout today. Then you have your marginal risk of severe weather, which is in the dark green color. Uh, you do have an isolated... You do have an... You do have an isolated risk of severe weather, um, but not anything like the enhanced or slight risks there. Also, the light green risk is the general thunderstorm risk where you are expecting some general thunderstorm development to, um, ex to be in those types of areas, but not any severe storms are possible within there. Here's the tornado risk. And there's very low tornado risk within the Texas area, but we do have a 5% risk of those tornadoes within the northeast. Um, so we definitely have to watch out for the possibility of a couple tornadoes within the northeast. Um, we do have, we can't really rule out one or two tornadoes within the Texas area with a 2% chance of those tornadoes. And also another 2% chance of those tornadoes uh, within that type of area. Um, so brown is a 5% risk of tornadoes, and the green areas are a 2% risk of tornadoes there. Here's the hail risk, which is pretty big for the uh, kind of the Texas area. Not much for the northeast or uh, the other slight risk area there. But we do, in those reds or significant risk area, you can see up to 2 inches plus in diameter size hail within that type of area there. In the yellow risk, you do have a golf ball size hail risk within the storms and in the green you got a quarter size hail up to quarter size hail within those storms here's the wind risk and wind is very big um for parts of the texas uh this is going to become kind of a line of storms that's going to be bring um very high wind gusts up to 80 mile per hour in some in some uh, places you can see uh, within this line of storms it's going to develop around there and it's going to head around eastward um, and it's going to dive down into kind of the Austin area there and then it'll go off to, into the Gulf around tomorrow morning um, and this is going to happen mostly overnight so this is why you need to be, have your uh, severe you, you need to have a way to get those severe we weather warnings out in the hatched area that's a up to 80 miles per hour. Also in the red area, you also have up to 70 miles per hour gusts within those storms. In the yellow area, you have up to 60 mile per hour gusts within the storms. And in the green, you have up to 40 mile per hour gusts within those storms that's supposed to develop within those areas. Now we can actually go out and look at the models for this severe weather. Alright, so first of all, we're going to be talking about the south here. Uh, you can see about now, we have some isolated severe storms moving throughout parts of Oklahoma. And this is the simulated future radar, um, if you didn't know. but And then you're going to start to see these storms develop around uh, 3 or 4 p.m. Uh, some very, these are definitely firing up around that time frame. And then you get into around 5 p.m. And then you really start to see the storm development in the uh, northwestern part of Texas. Even the extreme southern part of Texas there. And this is really just, uh, just firing up here into a line. And that forms around uh, 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, just this line of storms moving through parts of Texas. 
in Oklahoma. This is exactly where that enhanced risk is. It really starts to organize here around uh, 10 p.m. tonight, um, now approaching the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and it's supposed to head in that type of direction there. Uh, so if you live in this type of a cone here that I'm drawing, you're definitely going to get hit by these storms. Um, looks like this part of this, the uh, this part of the line will weaken by the time it gets to this type of area, but you still will get some pretty heavy rainfall, and then that kind of forms into a different line. They're still getting some storms over here in parts of Louisiana by around around 6 a.m., and that heads in kind of the Gulf by around 6 a.m. as well. Still getting some storms in parts of Louisiana. Um, and then you're moving into around uh, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., around that time frame. Still getting some pretty heavy thunderstorms in parts of central Louisiana. Around south, around southwestern part of Louisiana, I should say. Still some isolated severe storms moving throughout Louisiana. And some more isolated severe storms moving, uh, developing around the midday hours of Saturday. And that keeps moving through some isolated severe storms throughout uh, Saturday. Um, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, if you now we can now we can actually look at the um, more a more detailed uh, ingredients that's going to be in place. Uh, so this is the available energy that we have. Of really just a lot. Uh, up to 6,000 joules per kilogram. You don't see that much often. This is prompting the big hail threat and the intense storm threat here. There's a bunch of energy that's going to, uh, this this line of storms is really just going to take up. Uh, this is when it develops and then this line kind of uh, moves forward here. Uh, just really starts to organize. So you can see it takes all that energy away. And then by the time you get into the early morning as of tomorrow, uh, that line of storms will be about here. And that's what's um, that energy around there uh, prompting that storm development also. Yeah, and then you get into tomorrow. Still some available energy that could uh, those isolated storms will develop off of. Um, but shouldn't be too bad. Possibly a marginal risk will be possible uh, within this type of area. Maybe a side risk. It just depends on what the Storm Prediction Center uh, wants to do. Here's a significant tornado threat. There's a barely a tornado threat uh, within there. Um, and, yeah, there's barely a tornado threat, uh, but there's still a 2% risk of tornadoes. So, definitely good to see one or two tornado warnings throughout the day. Here's a supercell composite, which is the risk of supercells developing um, within a certain point. Um, there's definitely not a lot, but in the Oklahoma City uh, met kind of Oklahoma City area, you do have a risk for those supercells to develop within that area. Also, in southern Texas, you do have a risk, big risk for some supercells throughout today and tonight. Shouldn't be any barely tornado risk, um, though. You definitely get into tomorrow and definitely could see a slight risk down here in parts of Texas. Um, here's the updraft felicity, uh, pretty much showing you. Um, where these uh, big updrafts are going to be uh, hitting here. I'm pretty much uh, spinning the atmosphere. Well, spin is showing you what storms are going to have some uh, rotation uh, beforehand. Uh, some of these storms do have some decent um, rotation on the model. Um, could def definitely see uh, one or two tornado warnings, like I said, but uh, not too, not nothing. Not anything too bad is expected throughout today. Um, mainly just the wind and hail threat. Um, definitely some storms though that could have some tornado potential uh, throughout there. Here's a vertically integrated liquid, which is showing you the storms that will have this hail. And you start to get into around 2, 3, 4 p.m. Some very big hail. That's what's prompting this hail threat uh, throughout today. In that line of storms moving into the Dallas Fort Worth area, definitely could see some pretty big hail uh, for Dallas here once this move in, moves into that uh, type of area. Very well weakened, still could see some hail in the eastern part of Texas uh, throughout there. 
and that moves into the Gulf, like I said, still could see some storms uh, moving out through the very early morning hours of Louisiana, um, kind of that. Here's the Echo Tops, and definitely uh, could see some very big hail. You're getting up to around 50,000 feet with some storms with, uh, with throughout there. Here's the, um, we can actually look at the dew point temperatures, and this is going to be very humid, and there's a lot of moisture being, being uh, pumped up here from the Gulf. Um, just lots of moisture for these storms to develop off of. Also, the temperatures. Temperatures are going to be very high from this humidity up to around the upper 90s uh, for throughout today. Maybe even possibly the hundreds uh, throughout some areas. You're getting to up to 95 degrees, 96, some very hot temperatures throughout Texas today. It's just prompting the storm development even up to 97 in some areas. And lastly, the wind gusts. Um, definitely, you can see some very strong winds. You can see here up to uh, 70 or 80 knots. So definitely, you can see some wind damage reports throughout today. If you did enjoy this video, I would ask you that you do subscribe to the channel if you are interested in watching daily weather forecasts. And make sure to share this video with any friends or family that might be interested in watching daily weather forecasts also. But anyways, stay safe.